Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day today. So today we are building a big, a big house, <laughs> basically I've called it the estate, I think, unless I've decided to change that within a matter of hours, <laughs> but we are making a big English estate house here in Windenburg and we're using it the 64 by 64 lot, but it probably could go on a lot smaller one because I wanted to have grounds to it like it was set in a big English countryside manor type of thing actually based off a a real house that I was having a flick through and I was just like yes that looks interesting and the roof looks interesting which I regret <laughs> thoroughly once I actually come to roof this thing and so I thought that'd be quite a fun fun thing to build especially as it's got loads of different little nooks and like out out things <laughs> can't remember the technical term for, for anything today little bay windows and stuff all around the house we've got little outbuildings we've got a roof bit we've got a skylight in the roof and it's just it's just a interesting not a little build but interesting build to do and it was fun furnishing it so we'll start off start off with we've got lots of things to talk about we've got half an hour to kill <laughs> we we had the the announcement the other day of the sims universe discover university which i am super excited about super i loved sims university in all the other packs so i am definitely definitely gonna go out and get this pack as an early christmas present as it comes out like the 15th of november which is only like in a few weeks which is insane where where has time gone so that is super exciting i love the fact that we are getting bikes which i love i love cycling anyway in general so my sim can be even more like myself <laughs> and have a bike and i like the fact that uh, that hopefully means we get cars and stuff soon as well if we're getting bikes we have to have cars i need cars i loved in the fast lane in sims 3 that was a great great expansion because I love cars and all that sort of stuff and who doesn't want to drive like a Formula One car around <laughs> the world just for just for giggles and <laughs> and stuff and it also looks like there's two the, the modern uni and the old uni so the modern one's like all about the like future stuff so we've got like robotics stuff like into the future and then on the the older one that's supposed to be like Oxford or something like that we've got like more like literature debate team and all stuff like that so I cannot wait I cannot wait to use <laughs> my sims that I started a school let's play off in ready anticipation for a flipping university one and we never got it in time so I'm ready to bring those, those two back hopefully they can go to like the two different unis but have the same save file I'm, I'm gonna have to see how that works out but we have we have roof this thing and it is it is a little bit of a complicated roof and I'm just working out all the different bay windows because they needed to be the right size and the the actual glass window that we have at the front does work it does produce light it just doesn't look <laughs> it doesn't look like it on the thing because obviously at first I thought it was gonna work but but it doesn't show visually that it, there's a there's a skylight but there is a skylight and there is also like rooms in the roof and stuff like that so it's a fun it's a fun little roofing thing and we put loads of roof trims on as well lots of fireplaces as well because this is what the actual house looked like so it was quite fun to use some like coppery stuff using a mix of mix of strangerville and the base key or oh, get together actually get together and you know discover university is going to be like perfect for each other and some of the new items and stuff look super awesome as well very ikea -y, very studenty obviously and i mean, just think it'd be quite quite a fun thing we got the keg thing back as well which we got love the keg and the mascots we got a new woohoo spot in the showers we've got public bathrooms oh my god we've been waiting for some cubicles for like forever <laughs> 
to make public places and I think we didn't get to see too much. It'd be nice to see what actually comes in the build by because if we get some of the windows that's on the like Brychester University thing with the big like arched modern cathedral ones, oh, they would be so perfect for builds. Especially like some nice big back windows and stuff onto your patio. Oh, that'd be so cool. And I just want, just want to see the build by stuff. <laughs> see what wallpapers we got. See what actual lots we've got as well. Because it said you could live in a dorm or on in your own house type of thing. So there must be some houses. I want to see how the unis are connected together as well. Whether you like have to pick one or whether they're both there and you just go to either one and they're in the same world type of thing or they're in completely different worlds. What's, how are you going to get into uni? All, all so many questions. I need a live stream to, like the man brown with magic one to to see what's up but we've now jumped into furnishing the house so i've done all the layout done all the the wallpapering and stuff so we're going quite quite tr like modern traditionalness we've got like obviously nicely painted newly painted walls and stuff like that but we've kept the the white trim at the top and the bottom as well just to keep that keep that traditionalness got some nice big using the strangerville doors <laughs> in this entire build because they were perfect perfect for the style of house and it is it's a big it's a big family house so i had five sims in here by the time i actually had a little play test <laughs> afterwards just because i was like oh, it'd be quite fun to play in this house so i threw a family literally threw a family in here with a dog and it it seemed to work pretty well for like gameplay stuff and just general general living stuff so we've got down here we've got a living room we've got a study that comes off it in that like darker pinky purple room we've got a long kitchen that goes into a dining room that's connected on the other side we've got like a boot room at the back that's dark green and that's where I put a load of the dogs and pet stuff so there is like a little box if you want a cat and then we have a little outbuilding that's supposed to be a little bit newer that we have like the laundry stuff the dustbins some like other gardening bits and stuff in there so we've got good and we've got bathroom as well and hallway that's dark blue which at the moment i don't know why i'm digging dark blue walls <laughs> must be something it's getting into winter everything will be dark blue and moody <laughs> and bleak and cold <laughs> and we have a, a little entrance way as well so you can dump like another little boot room and upstairs we have a big master bedroom that has an ensuite that goes all the way above the kitchen and the dining room. And then we have a kids, one kids bedroom, slightly older kids bedroom. Then we have like a teen young adult bedroom that actually goes into the attic where they've got fun stuff. And we've also got bathroom and like a big landing way that has like some extra seating and stuff like that so it's a pretty pretty big house we've got like little space and stuff as well lots of skill building stuff so it is a very fun <laughs> i'm super tired today because yesterday i got back from coming all the way back home from edinburgh where i was visiting family and we had a fun fun but cold cold weekend it was like four degree four or five degrees difference just from like the south to the north so it was like basically like one not wooden jumpers but like thick jumpers coats it was a bit wet on the saturday so we were like not trudging <laughs> we were walking around the castle because we hadn't been for like four or five years to the actual castle so we did that's some very touristy stuff <laughs> which is normally what i am very against doing touristy stuff in your own country but if you haven't done it for a while it's slightly more acceptable so we were in another castle and obviously lots of tourists and tourists are probably my least favorite thing in the world <laughs> and it makes me very angry sometimes because they don't they just get in a room and just stand right in the doorway and i'm just like get in the room 
look at the stuff. You do not need to stand in the doorway and take a picture before you've even looked around. And I was just like, oh my god, I hate tourists. <laughs> but apart from that, it was nice to go around. There's some really good views up there, which I haven't actually posted on Instagram. I did post like loads of stuff on Instagram this time and had some <laughs> had some fun comments back and forth as well and we yeah, did a few stories on instagram as well which is fun which is probably all gone by now <laughs> because it's like a week later but we also went out out of the city as well one on the sunday we went to the fife river which is the river that flows into the sea at edinburgh so we went we went along the new bridge that they built because there's the fourth bridge that was the old like copper one that's red iconic <laughs> an iconic bridge it's now got a a big <laughs> big older brother that is very majestic especially as it was like a nice sunny day that day and we went over to this place called colso or something like that and they used that to, to film outlander and also captain america as well has been filmed there so we went around this house thing because it was free <laughs> we basically go around and find stuff that's free to do and it was fun and that town looks very european as well <laughs> considering it's scottish i was just like this could literally be anywhere in the north of france but <laughs> It wasn't. It was Scotland, and it was freezing. There was some really dramatic, like sky as well. I took this really dramatic picture of like the fishing, fishing dock thing, with some dark, moody sky and the sun coming through. So it was good, good photo opportunity. Lots of dogs running around as well, which is always nice. And then we stopped off on the way back into Edinburgh. We stopped off to take a picture of the bridges, of course, because you have to have, go get that that grand picture. <laughs> and that was fun. We didn't look around the town, but after what I've heard about it, then I don't, don't really want to look around the town. It wasn't very big anyway. But we did that, and then we went to we went to the, like a few of the graveyard. There's like a graveyard thing because obviously it's, it's Halloween soon. So you have to go go to an autumny graveyard, which was near the park that runs next to the train line under the castle. So we went to there on the Monday, and we walked around, did the things that we like didn't get to do on the Saturday because we just like had a whip, <laughs> a whip around afterwards. Found a good few places eat and stuff like that but it was a good trip it was a long way back like we stopped off like halfway so we split it because we're going from one end into the country to the tother so you have to you have to split up so we stopped in like durham for one on the way back went around the cathedral <laughs> and stuff like that which it's not a very big town so we kind of just spent a few hours there just to break up break up the journey before we had our stop over and then on the way up we stopped at this spooky abbey in yorkshire which was fun i managed to cut my hand in three different places trying to open the bottle this metal couch bottle so that was joyous <laughs> and all sorts of fun stuff like that so we had a, a very good trip. Also, we had the circle final as well on the Saturday. Not the Saturday, the Friday. So I was just like, oh, I'm going to start my, my weekend away if I stay up till like midnight just to watch the circle final. And the wrong person won. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> so annoyed. But what can you do? I was not in there to vote him down, so uh, I'm just annoyed that my favourite one didn't win, but he didn't even win the public vote either, which was even more annoying, but that is a life. <laughs> we have now furnished, as I've been wonderfully storytelling, <laughs> furnished the kitchen and we've used the new free update tiles that we got for the anniversary which I thought was quite nice. It's like a modern version of like a classic country kitchen. I've got some whites and creams going on and we've got the same colours. It took me forever to find 
the matching colour for the dining room. Oh my god, so many swatches I went through just to find the correct colour. But we've got matching matching dining room, which I did change the colour of a few times because I was like, this looks really brown. And then I was like, I need to add add some other colours. So it looks looks a lot better once we change the seats and stuff. Also, we have a fireplace in the in the kitchen as well, which I thought was quite fun. A little bit of like how they might have used to cook stuff in the house. And we also have quite a few fireplaces all over this build because <laughs> it's it's an old build. You need some good fireplaces. This is our little pet room, so we've got like a our pet feeder, some toys, a bed, got a few seats in here. We could easily change this building up as to be like a little sunroom and put some longer windows in there as well just to make it like open it up into like the back garden and to turn it into like a little a little place to sit down and chill and stuff like that. So upstairs we are starting with our master bedroom. So we've got some, it's a really long room that goes like all the way down the house. So needed needed to break it up into like different sections. So at the top there near the near the bathroom we have our, our walk-in wardrobes because I thought that would be quite nice. And it also makes the, the room a little bit more of an interesting shape as well. We've got our bed that's just off from the door. So I don't want to shove the bed right in front of the door because that's a little bit weird. <laughs> you just open open the door and you're like, oh, someone's asleep or doing something else <laughs> which you don't want to walk in on. <laughs> we also have a TV as well with a little like, side table. So we can put some stuff on there and then we have our little dressing ta vanity table in front of the window so you can get some natural light so you can snatch snatch your cheeks and just a few we've just got one plant in here which I'm surprised I don't put so like loads of plants in this build as well which is always a fun to do I kept this kept this room quite simple actually try to because it can't put too much stuff in it because it is so so narrow so keeping it keeping it clean was a good good plan and we also have a little fluffy rug and seat by the the mirrors as well so you can get dressed your own little dressing area in the bathrooms i've gone pretty old school and we've got the like victorian vampire no, no, not vampire tiles the jungle adventure wall tiles and vampire floor tiles which always work wonderfully together and uh, we've got some of like the base the oh what are they called the country sinks we've got one in our kitchen i can't remember what they're called but we've got we've got some of those we've got a nice built-in shower a bath combo in the corner there i could have extended that out <laughs> when i was watching this while it was like doing its thing like rendering so I could record. I was like, I could have extended it in, but I think I quite like it with a little a little nook out. It makes the, the bath area a little more built in and like it was supposed to be there. So this is our first child's bedroom. It is very orange, <laughs> definitely digging the autumnal fall <laughs> seasony colours. But this is supposed to be for a a younger child, kind of, because we don't have like age differences between <laughs> any of the like child's teens and that. So this is the younger end child, so maybe like four or like five or six or something like that they've just started school basically so we've got a mix of like younger stuff and a little bit of like older stuff handmade stuff we've got a craft table as well so you can do all your holiday crafts put all the pumpkins up everywhere and um, we've got a few of the like younger feeling posters and stuff up the up on the wall, some hand drawings and stuff like that. And we don't really have a playroom, so we've got a lot of toys and stuff in here. And then in this bedroom that is next door, we have like an older child's bedroom. So they actually have a double bed because <laughs> they're clearly, clearly related to if you haven't, if you don't know who Zeus is, then <laughs> go look up Critic Zeus. And there's always a story about him having a, a double bed as a child. <laughs> He's 
James Turner's friend, Sim Supply, who is Sim Supply is dead. <laughs> but it, it, when I put it in, it was just like, oh, it reminds me of the Zeus story. But yeah, this kid has a double bed because he's clearly as rich as Zeus. And <laughs> he's supposed to, he's, this child has like some like kid stuff. So they've got the, the, the Void Crusher battling thing. And, but they've also got a few like older things, so perhaps they're like 11, 12, that sort of age, not quite a teen, but still, still very much a child. <laughs> so we kind of got a mix, mix of different stuff. So we've got like Harry Potter, even though that's not childish because I was watching Harry Potter at the weekend. <laughs> because who doesn't when it's winter? It's like a very British thing to sit there once it gets to like November. October time and just watch all the Harry Potters back to back each weekend especially when ITV just plays them like every year up to Christmas it's just like a Christmas tradition now <laughs> amongst the most most people and then we have we have our like teen older older child bedroom and this goes up into the attic space so they're obviously going through their emo <laughs> rebellious stage so everything in here is black <laughs> and they're into their music and stuff we've got a few more plants and stuff and i thought it'd be quite fun to have a little like seating chill out area underneath the stairs because i know the sims can actually use like do stuff under the stairs so we've got some of the i should put some of the cushions and stuff down there and a radio as well so you could like sit there do your homework listen to the radio just lounge about and up here i thought it'd be quite fun to have like a little little den area so we've got a, like a music station we've got the foosball table we've got dartboard we've got a few magazines and the camera tripod stuff and we've got a little thing to pack up the guitar so if you want to go out and do some busking and stuff and then we've got, just got some seats some, some ottomans to sit up up there especially if they've got their like mate round or something like that then they can go up there and hide away from any parents that might be prying or listening in at the door that'd be such a fun feature <laughs> to add to parenthood like if you know friend had a friend round they could like parents could like listen in on the door <laughs> then you could like discipline them if they were like swearing or something like that that'd be quite fun <laughs> and just adding in a few few little details if we've just got a distressed rug because who doesn't love having a little little found vintage rug somewhere about the place for a few of the uh radiators <laughs> a few of the radiators about in the rooms that don't have fireplaces and just filling out our little lounge area upstairs so if you wanted to be a little bit a little bit more quieter away from the free <laughs> from the rest of the family if they're all downstairs and sit up here we also have our little fun shaped bathroom up there as well which i don't finish on camera because i've had enough of bathrooms by then it's a wonder that i actually managed to film two bathrooms on camera this time i was just like what is this why am i doing them now <laughs> normally i love doing them afterwards because <laughs> they're near enough to say but i thought there's a little bit more difference in these so we could see them this time but getting a few few pots and stuff in we also have uh grandfather clocks about as well because uh, it's fits nicely in this type of build so we've got one on the top of the stairs here and we've got one as soon as you come into the place as well it'd be funny if they actually chimed in the when you were actually doing gameplay and stuff so outside i have cut away where i have done some terrain paint for the gravel driveway and i've used it to cover up the counters in the kitchen that stick through the wall as well so they are nicely nicely hidden away with some nice bush out the front and i wanted to keep the front of the house quite clear because i was i was putting these nice along it trees in front i was just like it just ruins the view of the house so it would be nice to put them then down the side as like an artificial fence area so that's like a little border to the land and then 
had a look at what trees were about. I kind of wanted some big ones, but then I realised this is not going to be any that are big enough. So we'll do a mix of like, I think they're oak trees and birch trees, but a mix of birch trees from cats and dogs in the base game. So it kind of blends in nicely with the, the, the surrounding area. <laughs> and so it kind of looks like the the land around it is also owned by them so it makes it a lot a lot bigger than it actually is we also have a pool out the back here which i use some like wood i think it is that's in a similar color to the gravel that we've got going on and i thought it'd be nice to look put a little fence around it so you couldn't see the fact that they had a pool in the background you kind of think that is the end of the garden area and then we have have it nicely separated off from everything as well also put some of the the flower boxes the, not the, the planters around the back as well so you can grow your own stuff and i put some sprinklers in there even though the sims were a little bit obsessed with cleaning up puddles outside and i was just like why do you keep going out there to clean puddles if <laughs> they go away naturally? We have a little barbecue and a little family eating area out the back because I thought it was quite quite a nice little thing. It wasn't big enough to put the the little awning out there, which was a shame because I do like trying to use that. We also have some bees in the back corner. So if you want to do some beekeeping, we have a swing in the other bit of the, the wooded area. I kind of kept like some of the stuff in, in the woods bit, so it kind of keeps the rest of the garden looking clean. And we also put a pond in as well, so you can do some fishing on your own lawn because it is big enough, so you might as well have, have a little fishing pond. And we do go in... That's when I go in and put in all the live edit objects, which are my love. I hope we get some good ones for Discover Uni. Oh my god, if we get some of the stuff that's about the place there, I will be very, very happy. I also put one of the fences as well at the front because it needed something to like enclose it a bit more. So one of these fences works very nicely and they can walk through it as well, which they did automatically <laughs> as soon as they ran into the house. So it's very easy to get through. And I put some plants and stuff in the fence itself just to make it look a little bit older, like it's been there for quite a while, just to set it, set it in to the landscape and the build a bit more because it's it's quite a bright white stone so it doesn't quite go with the thing but adding adding a few plants and stuff about really helps with that especially on the build itself as well because obviously obviously you have to go around and put a load of like the greenery <laughs> about the place just trying to see if there was anything else we could use especially from get together and stuff like that but i don't think there really was i didn't want to overdo it either i think i'll put a wheelbarrow up the back as well near the near the bees so you can do some do some gardening just a few bits of wool and the foliage about the place not too much because then we'll go over the top and obviously we have to have our drain pipes because <laughs> that always adds to our build and then I thought the, over the door should have a little a little roof just to make finish finish off the build. So here are our screenshots. We can get a good look at the layout and stuff. You see our little skylight as well. That does work. And we'll see that in the screenshots as well. So this is our entranceway, our living area, our study, and our boot room at the back. It's our kitchen. A different angle down into the dining room with our bar and our utility room, our landing, master bedroom, different sides, <laughs> our younger child bedroom, middle child, older child, <laughs> and upstairs as well. So I hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, feel free to give it a like. I will see you in the next one. Bye.